friends and welcome to part five of our Stormblood Let's Play. We are hoping to finish off Mephrid's quest today. I believe we've only got a few left um, and I'm a little bit scared because it seems like uh, we might have to fight some meat eaters, some key curd meat eaters, which, you know, sounds like a cult that I don't want to stumble into because we might be for dinner. So let's go talk to Mephrid and see where this quest takes us. So where Krata is being held somewhere at the Ziggurat to the south, which has been taken over by a host of key curd bandits. That about covers it then. Be prepared for a fight. They may not be the most challenging foes, but there's sure to be a lot of them. All right, well that's good. At least they're they're not battle-hardened warriors. <laughs> All right, let's get on my unicorn and get out my map. I believe we stumbled across where we needed to be before. Yes, past this creepy dust anilla. I wonder if this is going to be an instanced fight up ahead. Because I feel like there's a few that are tossed in. Between dungeons and things and the main story quest stuff. Immodest mouse, that's so cute. I love that. Wait. Are we still going the right way? Oh, we are. But it took us right past the blood glider, which is not something I really want to deal with ever. But luckily, we're level 66 now, so we're high enough level that it doesn't seem to be coming for us. Oh yeah, this is indeed a duty. Or a destination, at least. Let's get out my... Uh... Oh, I think I have to dismount first. Let's get out my uh, chocobo just in case. Just in case this summons all sorts of bad news. Please, let me go. I'm begging you. I don't want to die. That, that sounds like a valid request. Hear that? I think it came from the top of the ziggurat. Oh, those are frightening. Who dares come to loot our man flesh? Ours to eat. Ours to eat. We knew it had come to this. Kill them quick before they alert the others. All right, let's get them. All right, which, wait. Oh, these guys. Okay, I was like, where'd they go? Am I just supposed to kill any old man-eater? Alright, these man-eaters, I guess? These man-eaters. Not today. Some of these predators think, am I cursed? Who's cursed? Everyone's cursed. Oh, <laughs> it was some randomly named Cursed who also has my unicorn who helped. Thank you, Cursed. I'm really bad at actually texting things in the boxes before people run away, so. So let's just go. I wonder if they're doing the same quest as we are. Just way faster. Oh my gosh. So many stairs. At least I hope this is at the top. I feel like it may have been at the bottom. Nope, indeed this seems to be at the top, so. I love it. 
when they, it seems like somebody else is doing the exact same quest right now. Alright. Let's go talk to Workrata and see where this takes us. By Ralgar, what did I ever do to deserve this? I've gone to bed hungry for months, I'm skin and bones, I'd hardly make a snack, much less a meal. So I think we've confirmed that these meat eaters are indeed cannibals. Well, I guess it's not cannibalism though, if they're eating humans and they're key kerns, but, but they're aggressive, <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Oh, you found him. But wait, are you here to rescue me? Your sister sent us. It's going to be all right. My sister? Oh, Ralgar be praised. She's safe. And you, you lot fought your way in here just for me? To think there are still good, brave folk in this world. We should go before the Keykerm return in force. Do you still have the Tributum? Oh, God, the Tributum. The Imperials will be wondering where I am. I have to go. What? Right now? In your condition? You don't understand. We were given a warning last month for being short. If I don't make it in time, there's no telling what will happen to me and my sister. Alright, let's go turn this in and hopefully get some great rewards. I'm glad we saved him, but seeing him run off like that, I've got a bad feeling about this. Whoa, excuse me. I was turning in here. What the heck are you doing, Seeker Meat Eater? This was my time. My time to turn in, and you wrecked it. So we're gonna have to murder you, I'm sorry. Alright, Leaf, what did you have to say? Sorry about the interruptions. I'm glad we saved him, but seeing him run off like that? I've got a bad feeling about this. Indeed. All right, ooh, we'll get rewards for this one. The Black Wolf's Pups. Listen, Chacha, Mefred, I think we need to go after Warcrata. Wait, you better not be thinking of stopping him. You heard what he said. If they don't pay one way, they'll pay another. I know that I do, and I don't want to interfere. I just, I just want to see that he makes it there safely. If that's the sum of it, then fine. Let's head down and see if we can't pick up his trail. I think my pup has lost their treat, so I'm gonna go help them find it. All right, off we go. To the bottom, I think. Let's go jump over that edge, but that seems super dangerous. I don't know if we survived that fall. for a trail. Oh, I see. I see, I see. There's a soiled sack, which does not sound like something that I would like to touch. But here we are. Upon closer inspection, you find nothing of interest. Are, are you sure? All right, why doesn't it disappear though? that it keeps sparkling. Okay, let's go see what's out this way. All right, I see a chocobo feather. Could this be it? In the dirt you spy a chocobo feather.
Any luck? A chocobo feather, is it? Aye, by my reckoning, it came from Recrata's bird, in which case, there's a collapsed bridge just around the bend. Hug the rocks and stick to the shadows. We'll find him soon enough. All right, there we go. And let's just grab some extra experience things. Because who knows why I have so many alligator pears. Right, it looks like we found Mephrid and Lees. Any minute now, I expect I'll come thundering around the bend and... Hear that? Get to cover! Quickly! Now! Oh no. Sorry, my hair keeps tickling my nose. <laughs> Ooh, those are interesting outfits. Are they Imperial? They're definitely Worse. not us. Skulls. Listen, Lise. Whatever happens, stay hidden and do not intervene. Understood? I feel like she understands, but that doesn't mean she's not going to intervene. What? You there! Halt! You know you shouldn't be here. Explain yourself. Uh-oh. Forgive me, sir. I, I came to deliver the tributum. That's how you pronounce it. Oh, aye. A likely story. Only a fool would dare to come so late. Or, mayhap, a resistant spy. Uh-oh. I think he's in trouble. We need to save him. No. No, you've got it all wrong. I, I was waylaid by bandits. I it's not my fault. It's true. He was almost a dinner. I said halt! Please have some mercy. <gasps> he would have just handed it over. What jerks. Is this a joke? You don't seriously expect us to believe this is a fake? How stupid do you think we are? Have you seen where we live, sir? It is, I swear, on my mother's life. Oh my gosh, Spare these guys us. are awful. You came late, you lied about bandits, and then you tried to cheat the Empire of its due. Screw the Empire. Yeah, she's going to do Think something. You can kill I knew them all, it. Including the ones watching from the tower. Even if you did, others would come for him and his family. You'd be condemning them all to a life of hard labor. Assuming they didn't just execute them, that is. But it isn't fair. <laughs> Chacha's so small that she hides entirely behind Lise. It's great. It's your bloody fault we're stuck out here patrolling this God's forsaken wasteland. It's your fault I have to listen to people go on and on about how Alan Egan's can't be trusted. I've worked and coiled harder than any man. I'm a citizen, God's damn it! And what are you? A stupid, stubborn little dog who'd sooner bite the hand that feeds him and pine for the good old days. That's enough! Lord Xenos is expecting our report. And can't believe his luck. He gets to go home. We should do the same.
I like her outfit. And her hair color. Even though she's evil. Her eyes say pure evil. Alright, let's go turn in. I'd heard their commander was keen-eyed, but gods, that was a near thing. It cheers me up inside to see our own kinsmen doing the bidding of the Viceroy, but they made their choice, and if it comes to it, I'll cut down every last one of them myself. All right, Arcanist. Yeah, let's go grab some Black Mage stuff. Because my Black Mage does need stuff. And I need to go check out <laughs> my pup who has disappeared. All right, I got dragged into puppy playtime uh, because my dog went for a nap, I think, just before I was starting to set up and now she is chaotic. So if I'm looking around, it's because she's sniffing much around, but she seems to not want to play with me right now. She just wants to explore. Uh, so we'll let her do that as long as she doesn't uh, get into any trouble. So let's go talk to Mephrid. Where Krat is alive and the Tributum's been paid, that's all that matters for now. I, for one, would rather not wait around to see if the Skulls decide to return. We'd best get back to Alagana and tell Ragenfred his man got the job done. So let's go see where they mean for us to be. It's probably... Yeah, it's back in... Elegata. And just because we haven't seen this scenery too much, I'm gonna I'm gonna go by foot. Even though it's only 70 uh gil to get over there. Well, I mean, you can, but I'm gonna go into the city and be safe. Is what I meant. All right, Rag and Frid. Let's chat. We owe you a debt of gratitude for what you did. Where Krata told me everything, how you fought with the Keykern and saved his life. For all the good it did, we saw what happened when he met with the Skulls, how they beat him half to death. We could have stopped them. I, I reckon you could. Mefred's a warrior, as is your comrade. And you're strong like your father, that much is plain. But I thank Ralgar you did not, because it would not have ended with them, where Krata and his sister would have been branded insurgents if not for the whole lot of us. Bones heal, scars fade, but the dead remain dead. We're alive, and that's more than can be said, for only the gods know how many others. That's enough for you, is it? To put up with whatever they do to you, so long as you get to see another day? That's right, you grit your teeth and you learn to live with the pain. I'll admit, I was quick to judge you, Leaf, and for that I apologize. I know you and yours mean well, I do, but I'm telling you, gods in the heavens is my witness that we've got nothing left to give. We can't help you. I understand. Thank you for your honesty. She may say it, but she doesn't mean it, nor would I expect her to. Her father was stubborn as an ox, too. If she's set of walking the same path, I but pray she won't follow it to the same end. All right, let's go speak with Mephred. Well, she took it better than I anticipated, which isn't saying much, I suppose. We should go and see if she's all right. Indeed. All right, is she hiding behind the tent? Please? Oh, there she is. Sorry about running off like that. 
Elamigans terrorizing their own? I just can't accept it, you know? No matter what he thinks, they shouldn't have to put up with it, day after day after day. I'm not completely naive, you know. I didn't expect them to storm a castrum with their pickaxes and shovels or whatever it was. But nor did I expect Prakrata to just lie there in the dirt while they kicked him. I can't claim to know their pain. I barely remember this place or, or even my father's face. But I remember Ida's. I remember how scared she was when we ran. And that look in her eyes when she talked about home. Her home, but not mine, is it? There you are, Leith. I've been looking all over for you. Well, you found me. Got something else to say? Aye, that I do. I, um, I said some things to you before that I shouldn't have. Twasn't my place to do so, and I'm sorry. All that rubbish I spouted about how I love my village, but when one of ours was in need, I was cowering here and with all the others. I didn't even think to go after Rakrata, but you did. Made me feel like, like the bloody hypocrite I am. If I truly care for my people, I'd fight for them. So I will, if you'll have, yay, we got a recruit. We have success. We got one single recruit. Which could mean more recruits. You're asking to join the resistance? When you put it like that, I, uh, I suppose I am. But not just me. There are others I know who've been thinking about it for a while now. There's not many of us, and we're not hardened warriors like you lot, but... If your heart bleeds for Alamigo, then that's good enough for me. You and yours are more than welcome at Ralgar's Reach. Thank you, sir. You won't regret this. I'll go and speak with the others and send word when we're ready. Still think this isn't your home? No, no, I, I was just thinking out loud. And with that, my friends, our mission is concluded. Let us return to the Reach. All right, let's go find Elise, who is at Ralgar's Reach. How far is that? I feel like it's pretty far. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's just travel there. And I believe it's will finish off Mephred's quest. Get back on my unicorn. We need to find a name for a unicorn. Probably don't need that anymore. First of all, allow me to commend you both on a job well done. Though nothing went according to plan, we nevertheless managed to attract some new recruits. And it was your passion and conviction that moved them to join. Thank you. No, thank you for giving me an opportunity to find out what our people have been through these past 20 years. It's been humbling. And troubling, too. I'd heard about the skulls, but that was the first time I'd seen them in the flesh. I know you say they're the same as any other Imperial soldiers, and maybe that's how I'll have to think of them myself for a pass up across in the battlefield. But when, not if, that day will come, Lise. You can't afford to hesitate when it does. Young, old, conscript, citizen, Garlean, Alamegan, none of that matters. They've all got their reasons, but they're no better than yours, especially when they're bearing down on you, blade in hand. Saying that, I don't want to kill them any more than you do. If I could convince them to lay down their arms, I would. Sadly, I've never been much of a talker myself, but who knows? Maybe you could be one, Leaf. Your father certainly was. Right then. I best begin preparing for these new recruits. Cha-cha, Leaf, it's been a pleasure. All right.
right. Oh! This will actually be better than what we have for White Mage, so let's do it. Let's upgrade our arm and stuff. All right. And I think we have time for one more quest, so let's go talk to Conrad. Conrad wishes to thank you for all you have done in such a short time. Owing to the efforts of you all, we have accomplished a great deal in a short time. The Resistance thanks you for your service, Sion. I see operations here have been proceeding apace in my absence. Welcome back, Brother Dearest. I take it your efforts to gather new recruits were successful. Indeed, there were several amongst the Scion's ranks that were quite eager to take part in our joint endeavor with the Resistance, whom I am come to present. Who's this? Commander Kemp, if I may. My name, my name is Erinvald Lentinus, a uh, uh, half-breed, as you can doubtless tell. I don't know what that means, but we've got to find a better, a better name than half-breed. I'm here to fight for a free Alamigo, for an Alamigo where women like my mother are never made to suffer. I pray you grant me this honor. You are a true-born son of Gurabanya, same as me. This is not my honor to grant, but yours to freely take. Welcome, brother. With our swelling ranks and the aid of the Eorzean Alliance and the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, I believe we will soon be in a position to seize the initiative. Once our new recruits have received sufficient training, I will propose to General Aldine that we draw up plans for an assault on Castell and Villadina. Then, in the meantime, we will make what preparations we can. And what preparations are those? Everybody's fist bumping. That's, a, that's not fist bumping, but, you know. <laughs> Fists against palms. Meanwhile, in the royal palace of Alamigo. Uh-oh. Oh, of course they've got some weird anthem. Uh-oh. I don't like the legs of him. He's so tall. I bet you he wears less. Because nobody else here is that tall. And I feel like that's something some tyrant would totally do. That is the fiercest owl I've ever seen. Alliance forces have occupied Castrum Orient and taken up positions along the length of the wall. Our patrols have engaged their reconnaissance parties on site, but there have been no significant exchanges, save one. A unit tasked with field testing prototype Magitek weapons was attacked. The oh, weapons right, we were destroyed that. with the unit sustaining near total casualties. They're not going to be happy. Near total? Go on. I just look at him and I'm like, Rapunzel, Rapunzel. My lord, there was but a single survivor from the unit in question, which falls under my command. According to his report, they were ambushed by a contingent of Eorzean Alliance regulars, abetted by resistance insurgents. I love how they're talking and I'm just like, where do I find your conditioner? <laughs> hmm. 
A simple ambush and only one survivor. A fine day's work. The stubbornness to survive is not without worth. He may live. However, the twelfth is no place for the weak. He shall be relegated at once, my lord. As you say, the twelfth is no place for cowards who count their lives more precious than the cause. Indeed, indeed. We have no need of cowards. Yeah, I feel like cowards don't survive very long in his his world. My lord, I... Uh-oh. He's getting decapitated. Or not, but still Cowards dead. Who defer critical missions to their subordinates, who hide within their castra, never meeting their prey in battle, never staring into the whites of their eyes. You need some hobbies, buddy. Besides murder. Why? When confronted with a heretofore unknown icon, did we surrender the wall to the Alliance? Oh, he's pissed. Because my honored father, in his infinite wisdom, has not seen fit to grant us leave to march on their lands. Accordingly, we have extended an invitation to our neighbors. Gear Abania is where we shall host them. <gasps> the field upon which we shall enjoy the sport of kings. Did that war? Patience is paramount. Cornered animals may have spirit, but they are ultimately predictable and very poor sport. But if one dangles the promise of freedom before them while nipping at their heels to stoke their passion, then things become interesting. Uh-oh. It is a delicate dance, one which asks much of my hounds. I don't want to meet his hounds. I feel like they're going to be worse than hellhounds. And so I put the question to you, my fellow huntsmen. How should we deal with these savages? I feel like if they are one of my dog's toys about like rolling past my feet. Um, I feel like if they say anything less than tear them completely apart, he's not going to be happy. My lord, I have a proposal. What's that? Simon Salamigan, you do forget yourself. Only by the grace of Lord Van Balesar were you afforded a place here, and that in name alone. We have no need of your proposals, savage. Wow. That's hurtful. Yeah, I growl too. Join us. This savage yearns to hunt her <gasps> own. She's one of the Garabanya? The floor is yours, Commander. Wow. Thank you. Why would she want to hunt My her Lord. own? I feel like she has Stockholm Syndrome. Well, that was a whole heck of a lot. We've learned a lot more about the Garlean. So let's go turn in and get ready for the frights that await us next time. Right then, I've got duties to attend to. Mayhap we could assist you with said duty? We are here to help after all. The three of you have been busy, so I will understand if you require time to rest. If not, however, it would seem sensible to assist our allies with their preparations. 
We'd be grateful for any and all help you can offer. If you ask around, I guarantee you won't want for work. All right, what have we got? Do, 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 do. Actually, what's that? Savage aim, it's just critical hit, which I'm not really playing anything that's super mean for that right now. What I would kill for is some um, spell speed things. But I believe that is where we're going to end it today. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Apologies. Um, Zelda was uh, <laughs> all over my feet today. So there was a lot of stops and starts. Uh, actually, maybe I'll see if she wants to come play. Zelda, do you want to say hi? Hi? Yes. <laughs> this is a little ball of fluff that has been uh, at my feet this entire time. Um, but like I said, if you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also go follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, which has quickly become her Instagram. And I'll see you guys next time while we see what horrifying things are happening with the Garleans.